Yeah, hello, uh, everybody. My name is Jürgen Bilo. Thank you very much for the invitation. I'm heading the startup organization of Continental. Um, and uh, it's a pleasure to be uh, with you. So a few words on Continental. Uh, basically, we develop pioneering technologies and services for sustainable and connected mobility for people and goods founded in 1870. One so so more than 100 and uh, uh, 40 150 years old. Uh, we offer technologies for for safe, efficient, intelligent, and affordable solutions for vehicles, but also for machines, traffic, and also transportation as such. Total sales in 2019 was 44.5 billion uh, euros and we do have 240,000 employees around the globe. So beside technology, uh, we are of course focusing on manufacturing, which is a very important topic in our company, uh, uh, clearly saying. Uh, for automotive alone, which is one third of our business, we have 58 plants in the world and we ship around about one 0.7 billion uh, goods, finished goods to our fellow customers. Um, to explore Industry 4.0, we have two model plans. One model plant is in Regensburg, Germany, which is focusing on, on electronics. The other model plant is in the swollen Czech Republic, more focused there on mechanical uh, manufacturing topics. A few words about the startup organization Copays uh, within Continental. Our goal is to power up uh, Continental's ambition to lead the mobility wave and beyond. So we engage for this, we engage with the startup ecosystem to onboard new technologies, new business models uh, to onboard uh, you as startup entrepreneurs with your solutions. And we do that independent of continental organizational structures. We are in the holding directly reporting to the CEO of the company. Uh, for that, we built relationships to external influencers, expert fellows, thought leaders uh, in the ecosystem. We analyze insights and transfer these insights into strategy and product propo proposals together uh, with the internal and the external uh, stakeholders. Uh, so we bring together internal and external experts. We gear the startups to continental uh, and the other way around. For this, we have the respective structures uh, uh, in order to basically to run uh, partnerships, to run POCs, etc. So now a few words on, on Industry 4.0, of course, which is, a, which is a very important focus topic for us. Uh, what are our main challenges here? Uh, we, uh, of course, with Industry 4.0 overall and this topic, we want to increase quality and the efficiency uh, uh, of, of our manufacturing, of our company. But it's not just about manufacturing, it's also heavily about uh, the supply chain. So for this, two, two topics are important, two important uh, examples. One is smart factory, which, which of course, digitalization of processes, um, uh, uh, transformation to smart manufacturing, uh, bringing data and data analytics uh, in the right shape. Uh, in order to 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 make a better 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 more efficient and higher quality uh, product, and the other is the supply the supply networks the, the supply network where we say we, we we take a look to the supply chain and we have a whole network with our uh, suppliers, uh, not just doing that uh, link to link in the supply chain. Uh, now, the biggest challenge is the connectivity of all that. The connect machines, processes, suppliers, customers, etc., with our worldwide network, and that is a huge challenge, sure. Um, 
a few a few uh, probably solutions which are applied. We are heavily uh, uh, working on cobots and robots or invested in that. We have around about 2,000 cobots already in the plant and 200 AAGVs. Yeah? Our supply risk management, uh, another example, international supply chain risk reduction is, is the topic. And uh, uh, in doing that, we, we connect our whole supply chain um, um, uh, heavily. Remote expert is a topic. Uh, so we, we, we have remote experts. We have experts sitting in Regensburg or somewhere else, and they basically work on the machine via augmented reality glasses, et cetera, with the colleagues somewhere in the world. Uh, thank you very much for uh, having me here a few minutes and having my input. I wish you a successful uh, uh, conference and I hope we will see us very soon in person in Israel or somewhere else in the world. Thank you very much.